Hi everyone, it's Brittany. 大家好，我是 Brittany. In this video, we will learn three types of magic knots that you can do. Oh, this is all for the beginner. If you just first start to learn, while you are doing this trick, if you don't have enough speed to finish up this trick, it's okay because eventually you need to grab to stop the yo-yo. So if you are a beginner, this is a perfect video for you. Okay. Okay. So number one. Ta-da! Number two. Make sure you go to the side and one forward and two backward. Ta-da! And number three. Make sure the odd number. I'm just gonna do it three times. Go to the front. One, the cup close to me. Two, the cup further. Oops. And then the cup close to me again. I did it three times. Ta-da! I cannot separate them. These are the series of magic tricks. Okay. And after these three tricks, and we will talk about which type of sticks that you can get. There are many, many of sticks, and which one is the one I use, and which one I will recommend you to get. Okay. So, without that being said, let's get into it. The first one, the first magic knot is um, the very simple one. Somebody call it David trick. I don't even know what is a David. What is not Michael? I don't know. Just David trick. So there's no loop in the middle. You just cross your arms simply. Your right hand above your left, and your right hand go around the diablo at the stick and the diablo. That's it. And your right hand can stop the diablo and separate them. Okay, that's number one. David trick. Let's see it from this side. So there's no loop in the middle. You cross your arm, your right hand above your left, and your right hand stick just pull down and go around the diablo, and you can stop the yo-yo. And whenever you want to separate them, you want to point your top to the diablo, and you can separate them. That's the first one. Okay, we call it David trick. The level two, the level two of the magic knot, we basically just call it magic knot. It looks like this. You can also separate them. Okay, so let me break it down for you. There's no loop in the middle. I, I want you to step to the side, and your right hand close to you. You do one circle forward and back to where you start. And you go to the front. I want you to do backward twice. One and two. And then your left hand can hold two sticks the same. You stop the yo-yo and point your stick at the diablo, and you just separate them. Okay. So what you do? Forward one time and backward two times. But if you fail, you only do one and one and a half. You will got tangled. So look at me. If I do one forward. And go one backward and one and a half. I don't know. I I don't even know if I can do one and a half. You just you will got tangled. See this one this one not not gonna work. So I'm gonna show you that level three. The number three one is the, a little bit complicated, but only look complicated. Once you know how to do it, it's kind of simple. So it looks like this. Also, there's no loop in the middle. One. You can see that's what's that look like in the middle and it can separate them okay and this one we call it open and close just open the door and close the door so i want you to remember every time for this trick we do an odd number either one time three times five times or seven times okay as long as you remember this odd number um i don't think this trick will go wrong so this one i have to show you from the side and it has to be this side so, there's no loop in the middle. And by the way, this one is MHD one. Pretty stable, I kind of like it more and more. So you level your stick up and your right hand go to the front and you have to go one to yourself and one to the outside. Whenever you go to yourself, you have to cross the stick. So your right hand is right here. You have to cross the stick and then go around the cup that close to me. And go to the cup in the front, and go to the cup to me, and go to the cup to the front. Now I did it four times. I should be able to put down, and not got tangled. Okay. So remember, one to yourself, one to the other side. 
Let's try it here. So, your stakes level up. Your right hand, go to the front first and go past the stick right here. And then it's the diagonal from right side to the left. And then also the one in the front and the one close to me. Now I do it three times only. You can separate them, okay? So this is the three magic tricks that you can do, work pretty well. So when you are doing some tricks or interact with your audience, that's a cool, cool trick to do. But if you are performing and doing it on yourself, you don't have to interact with anybody, I recommend the first one, the David trick. You just cross your arm and go around. You can literally just toss it and catch. Now, I wanna introduce the, what kind of stick that I use and then which type of stick that you can buy if you are looking for a new sticks. So the one you can see, I always use this one. This one is my favorite. Actually, I have three pairs of exactly the same one. I just like them being the same. And for me, it's very easy. I just grab one. I don't have to match the color. And the, the white color is my favorite color. So I'm so happy to have this white color thing. So the stick that I have here is from Sandia and it's carbon sticks. And I don't know how they made it. They made it like a J looking and it was a white handle. I like this kind of handle because this handle is replaceable. You can see this one's old, so they got some gap right here. For the new sponge, for the new sponge, it's supposed to be really tight. As you use, the sponge will get loose and loose, and here they will eventually get hollow. And then you can just pull it off or cut it open and it's to switch to another one. I like it. And this one is um, 35 centimeter, as long as the large one. There are two sizes. The one is 35 centimeter. The other one is a 30 centimeter. Let me show you that. So this one, this one's a 30 centimeter one. You can look. 35 and 30. And um, I do love this 30 one. It's so power saving. I don't have to use another energy, a lot of energy, and I can do many tricks. But I just love this one too much, and then I just like how it look and the white color. I just like it, so that's why I always use it. But if you notice that, oh, in my video, I kind of grabbed right here. So I didn't use this part at all. And this one just kind of like balanced the stick for me. So I like this 35 centimeter one. If this one's a 30, I hold it right here. You can see the tail part is kind of small. For me, it's not balanced as much. I feel like I have to control more. And it's easier to control with this shorter sticks, yes, but I personally like this one. So the difference between this one is only the height. This one is 35 centimeters. This one is 30 centimeters. And you can see the thickness, thickness of the stick is exactly the same. There are some carbon sticks and for the small one, they will use the thinner stick body, which I don't, I don't, I, I'm not a big fan of it. I always use this one. And I like this one because this one's light. And the other option you have is glass fiber. Glass fiber, they look exactly the same and much lighter. I don't like glass fiber at all. I recommend it. Don't use it at all if you are serious, you wanna play Diablo, you wanna do some tricks because glass fiber is, they can break at any time. This one can break too, this is carbon, but carbon is much durable than glass fiber. And I know for the carbon sticks can be a little bit pricey. If you are still new, you don't know if you wanna spend that much money on a pair of sticks, you have the other option. Is this. This one is the plastic one. It's also the product of Sandia. I like it. And when you are doing the genocide tricks, this one works extremely well for the genocide thing. And um, this one is actually 27. They have 27 centimeters and 30 centimeters product. This one's 27. I like it. But I don't use it very often because I love my white too much. So you can see this one's the plastic product. It's cheap, this one. The entire thing is is um, plastic and you can see at the grip they have special um, thing 
to make you uh, to avoid a slip from your hand. So if you're upon my sweat, this is a good stick to go. Cheap and the way balance the proportion they do it, they spot it. They do it real well. But after you play a little bit, this one can kind of hurt your hand a little bit because I don't know. For me, it's just so hard. I'm used to this kind of stick, the carbon and with the sponge. So this one you can go to cheap. And the other one is the cheapest. It is almost free in, Thai, in my country is this. This is the wooden one. And by the way, this is the string that I tell you about before, the cotton one. But I don't know why I have this a thick one. Usually it should be thin if you want to play one diablo. So for this wooden one, I don't want to use it at all. It's because they tie you can see that they tied a string here on top of it, here. So they kind of limit it, how you can do the tricks. Everything you do, your string will got tangled on the stick because you tied it right there. And this one is like, they tie the string at the bottom and here's like a 360 free, free direction they can go. They can do all kinds of tricks without got tangled. Okay, so you have different options. You have wooden sticks, you have plastic sticks. You also have glass fiber and then you have this carbon sticks. You can either go to the plastic one, it's cheap and very nice, durable. And the other one is this carbon one if you are serious about it and if you want this one to last. Okay, so I hope you learned something from this video and I personally want to thank you for liking my video. I know my video doesn't have a lot of uh, the like thing and some people they watch the video is not even a subscriber I don't know what can make the difference if you have a lot of like or a lot of subscribers But I genuinely if you like my video you can like my video just like Michelle Like he likes my video before I don't know if it's even a good thing if you like it before he even finish the video So I don't want to tell you to stop I think that's a great habit that you have Continue like my video and watch my video I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye!